So if you solve this problem and think that you need to spend an hour at least on it to just get started, you're wrong. Let me help you out. First step in solving this problem is to find a common ratio. So for now, since all of our numerators are one, let's just focus on those denominators. So we have one, two, four, eight, and that's gonna keep going. So let's notice that all we're doing is we're taking the number two and we're raising it to first, our power is zero. So two to the zero is one. Then we have two to the power of one, which is two. We have two squared, which is four. 2 cubed is 8, and we could keep going with this. So because these are our denominator, that means that our common ratio overall is going to be 1 half to whatever power, right? So that means that 1 half is our common ratio. Okay, so now we just want to take this and we're going to plug it into our infinite geometric sum formula, which is the sum is equal to a, which is our first term, divided by one minus our common ratio. So now let's plug in everything that we know. Our first term is just one, and we're gonna divide that by one minus our common ratio, which is one half. And then let's go ahead and simplify that. So one minus one half, that's just one half. So we have one divided by one half. And anytime we have division, sometimes it's easier to just think about it. How many times does one half go into one? Well, that's just two. So our final answer is two. Follow us for more tips and tricks just like this one.